a century of flight from humble beginnings to soaring heights. We've been building flying machines for over a century, can you believe it? From those rickety early contraptions to the sleek jets of today, it's been quite a ride. And the materials, they've changed a bit to say the least. We've gone from wooden fabric to composites that seem like something out of Star Trek. Join me as we take a spin through the history of aircraft construction. We'll start with the pioneers who dared to dream of flight and trace the evolution of the materials that made those dreams a reality. Fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be an exciting journey. We'll see how the quest for lighter, stronger and more efficient materials has driven innovation in aviation. From the earliest biplanes to the jumbo jets of today, it's a story of human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Get ready for takeoff. The early birds wood, fabric and the spirit of innovation. In the early days, flying was as much about craftsmanship as it was about engineering. Imagine the Wright brothers tinkering away in their bicycle shop. They were using wood and fabric to build their dream, much like they would a bicycle. These were the materials of the day, readily available and workable. The Curtis Jenny, a real icon of early aviation, was another great example. Wood for the structure, fabric for the wings, held together with wires and a prayer. It might sound primitive now, but these were cutting-edge designs back then. They were light enough to get off the ground, but strong enough to handle the stresses of flight. Think about that for a second. These pioneers were literally pushing the boundaries of what was possible, using materials that were familiar, yet shaping them into machines that defied gravity. It was a time of incredible innovation and daring, fueled by a passion for flight. Taking shape the steel tube fuselage and the Piper Cub. As aviation progressed, so did the need for stronger, more durable materials. Wood and fabric were fine for those early birds, but for longer flights and heavier loads, something more robust was needed. Enter the steel tube fuselage. The Piper Cub, a true aviation legend, is a perfect example of this evolution. Its steel tube fuselage provided a strong and rigid backbone for the aircraft. This allowed for a more streamlined design and paved the way for larger, more capable aircraft. The steel tube fuselage was a game changer. It offered a great strength to weight ratio, making aircraft more durable and reliable. This was crucial as aviation moved beyond those early experimental flights and into the realm of commercial and general aviation. Built to last the enduring legacy of Depression-era designs. The 1930s, despite the economic hardships of the Great Depression, saw remarkable advancements in aviation. Aircraft designers, driven by necessity and ingenuity, created aircraft that were not only efficient, but also incredibly durable. Many of these designs, like the Piper Cub, are still flying today. That's a testament to their robust construction and timeless appeal. These aircraft were built to last, with simple yet effective designs that emphasized functionality over extravagance. They were easy to maintain and repair, making them ideal for a wide range of applications, from flight training to bush flying. The longevity of these Depression-era designs is a testament to the ingenuity of their creators. They understood that true elegance lies in simplicity and durability. These aircraft were built to fly, and fly they did, for generations to come. Section 5, the Aluminum Age monocoque construction and the Cessna 172 Skyhawk. The post-World War II era ushered in the age of aluminum in aircraft construction. Aluminum alloys with their excellent strength to weight ratio and resistance to corrosion became the material of choice for a new generation of aircraft. Monocoque construction, where the aircraft's skin also contributes to its structural strength, further enhanced the capabilities of aluminum. The Cessna 172 Skyhawk, one of the most popular single-engine aircraft ever built, is a prime example of aluminum monocoque construction. Its sleek, efficient design and durable construction have made it a favorite among pilots for decades. The adoption of aluminum and monocoque construction marked a significant leap forward in aviation. Aircraft could now be built lighter and stronger, allowing for increased performance, greater fuel efficiency and enhanced safety. The skies were the limit. Section 6, Lighter and Stronger. 
the rise of composite materials in aviation. In the latter part of the 20th century, a new era in aircraft construction dawned with the introduction of composite materials. Composites, typically made of fibers embedded in a resin matrix, offered an unprecedented combination of strength, lightweight, and design flexibility. They could be molded into complex shapes, allowing engineers to optimize aerodynamic performance like never before. The Cirrus SR-20 and SR-22, popular general aviation aircraft, were among the first to embrace composite construction on a large scale. Their sleek, modern designs and impressive performance quickly made them favorites among pilots. Composite materials didn't just improve performance, they also enhanced safety. Their inherent strength and damage tolerance made aircraft more resistant to impacts and fatigue, contributing to a safer flying experience. The future of aviation was taking shape and it was made of composites. Section 7, Shaping the Future, Advanced Composites and the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner, a marvel of modern engineering, showcased the full potential of composite materials in large commercial aircraft. With its fuselage and wings made primarily of carbon fiber composites, the Dreamliner achieved significant weight savings compared to traditional aluminum aircraft. This translated into reduced fuel consumption, lower emissions and increased range, making air travel more efficient and environmentally friendly. The Dreamliner's composite structure also allowed for larger windows, higher cabin humidity and a smoother ride, enhancing passenger comfort. The 787 Dreamliner marked a turning point in aviation, demonstrating that large commercial aircraft could be built with composite materials, ushering in a new era of efficiency and passenger comfort. The future of flight had arrived and it was lighter, stronger and more sustainable. Section 8, Beyond the Horizon, exploring the frontiers of aircraft construction. As we look to the future of aircraft construction, the possibilities seem endless. Researchers and engineers are constantly pushing the boundaries of material science, exploring new frontiers in nanotechnology, three-dimensional printing and bio-inspired designs. Imagine aircraft with self-healing structures, morphing wings that adapt to different flight conditions, or even aircraft constructed from sustainable bio-based materials. These concepts, once confined to the realm of science fiction, are now within the realm of possibility. The quest for lighter, stronger and more sustainable materials continues to drive innovation in aviation. The future of flight promises to be even more exciting than its storied past, with advancements that will redefine how we travel the skies. Section 9. The quest for sustainability, bio-based materials and eco-friendly designs. In an era of increasing environmental awareness, the aviation industry is actively seeking sustainable solutions to reduce its carbon footprint. One promising avenue is the development of bio-based materials for aircraft construction. These materials, derived from renewable sources like plants, offer the potential to significantly reduce the environmental impact of aviation. Imagine aircraft constructed from plant-based composites, their structures as strong and lightweight as their conventional counterparts, yet with a fraction of the environmental impact. This is not a distant dream, but an active area of research and development. The quest for sustainability in aviation extends beyond materials to encompass the entire life cycle of an aircraft, from design and manufacturing to operation and end-of-life recycling. The future of flight is not just about reaching new heights, but also about doing so responsibly and sustainably. Section 10. Stay curious. Keep exploring the ever-evolving world of aviation. The journey through the history of aircraft construction is a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of innovation. From the wood and fabric biplanes of the early 20th century to the sleek, composite airliners of today, We've witnessed remarkable advancements in materials and design, each iteration pushing the boundaries of what's possible. As we look to the future, one thing is certain, the world of aviation will continue to evolve. New materials, innovative designs, and a commitment to sustainability will shape the aircraft of tomorrow, making air travel even safer, more efficient, and more accessible. So stay curious, keep exploring, and never stop marveling at the wonder of flight. The sky is not the limit when there are footprints on the moon. 
like and subscribe to the Mad Props Aero channel for more great aviation content every week.